Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss some important questions from the chapter chemical reactions and equations. First question. Balance the following chemical equations. Here you can see some of the equation. We are going to balance this equation. First equation HNO3 plus CaOH twice gives CaNO3 twice plus H2O. NaOH plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus H2O. Third equation NaCl plus AgNO3 gives AgCl plus NaNO3. Fourth BaCl2 plus H2SO4 gives BaSO4 plus HCl. If you didn't subscribe the channel, please subscribe the channel and visit our website www.winpointonlineclasses.com. Let's start balancing. In the reactant side, you can see HNO3 and CaOH twice. In the product side, you can see CaNO3 twice and H2O. So there are reactants and product. How we can balance it? First, we are making boxes in the reactant side and product side. Now, first we are going to count number of oxygen. Here you can see NO3 group, right? Here you can see NO3 group here. In the reactant side, there is one NO3. In the product side, there are two NO3. So we are going to count NO3 groups. Here, how many NO3 you can see? Here it is HNO3. HNO3 means only one NO3. In this side, it is CaNO3 twice. CaNO3 twice means there are two NO3. So we need to add a two in the reactant side. Here we are going to add a two. Now it is two HNO3. Number of NO3, it has been balanced. Now we can go for number of hydrogen. In the reactant side, how many hydrogen you can see? Two HNO3, two hydrogen. CaOH twice. CaOH twice means two hydrogen. Total four hydrogen. How we can and in the product side, how many hydrogens are there? It is two. Uh, it is H2O means two hydrogen. How we can how we can balance it? We can add a two. Now it is a balanced equation. The balanced equation is two HNO3 plus CaOH twice gives CaNO3 twice plus two H2O. Next equation. NaOH plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus H2O. In this reaction, we have reactants. NaOH and H2SO4 and products Na2SO4 and H2O. How we can balance this equation? First, we are going to make boxes. Inside the box, we are not able to do anything. We can add numbers on the left side of the box. First, we are going to count SO4 group. Here it is H2SO4. H2SO4 means 1 SO4. It is Na2SO4. 1 SO4. It is balanced. Now we can go for number of hydrogen. Here you can see NaOH and H2SO4. NaOH means 1 hydrogen, H2SO4 means 2 hydrogen, total 3 hydrogen. Here it is H2O. H2O means 2 hydrogen. 3 hydrogen and 2 hydrogen. Odd number and even number. We need to add, we need to make this odd number to even number. How we can balance it? How we can make it? In the NaOH side, only 1 hydrogen, we are adding a 2. Now here, how many hydrogens are there? 2 NaOH means 2 hydrogen. H2SO4 means 2 hydrogen. So total 4 hydrogen. Here it is H2O. H here it is H2O. H2O means only 2 hydrogen. We are going to add a 2 here. Now it is balanced equation. Now we can go for number of sodium. Here it is 2 NaOH, 2 sodium. Here it is Na2SO4, 2 sodium. It is also balanced. Number of sulfur, H2SO4, 1 sulfur. Na2SO4, 2 sulfur. It is also balanced. So balanced equation is 2 NaOH plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus 2H2O. Next equation. NaCl plus AgNO3 gives AgCl plus NaNO3. Here in the reactant side we have NaCl and AgNO3. In the product side we have AgCl and NaNO3. How we can balance it? We need to count number of atoms in the reactant side and we need to count number of atoms in the product side. It should be equal. Here it is NaCl, 1 sodium. Here it is NaNO3, 1 sodium. Equal number of sodium. And here it is Cl only one chlorine here it is one Cl AgCl one chlorine in in the case of silver in the case of silver Ag here it is AgNO3 AgNO3 means only one silver here it is AgCl one silver it is also balanced now we can go for NO3 groups here in the reactant side it is NO3 AgNO3 only one NO3 here it is NaNO3 one NO3 it is also balanced so it is a balanced equation no need to do anything. No need to balance it. It is a balanced equation. NaCl plus AgNO3 gives AgCl plus NaNO3. 
BaCl2 plus H2SO4 gives BaSO4 plus HCl. In the reactant side, we have BaCl2 and H2SO4. In the product side, we have BaSO4 and HCl. Now, we can balance the equation. We need to count the number of reactant, number of atoms in the reactant side and we need to count number of atoms in the product side. Here, it is barium chloride, BaCl2. How many bariums are there? Only one barium. In the, in the case of product, BaSO4, only one barium, balanced. And in the case of hydrogen, H2SO4, how many hydrogens are there? Two hydrogen. In the case of HCl, how many hydrogens are there? Only one hydrogen. So here we need to add a two. Now it is balanced. In the case of chlorine, how many chlorines are there? Cl2, BaCl2 means two chlorines. Here it is two HCl means two chlorine. It is also balanced. Sulfur, H2SO4, how many sulfur are here? Here it is H2SO4 means only one sulfur. It is BaSO4 means only one sulfur. It is also balanced. Now we can write the balanced equation. BaCl2 plus H2SO4 gives BaSO4 plus 2 HCl. It is the balanced equation. Write the balanced chemical equations for the following reactions. First equation, calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide gives calcium carbonate plus water. Second equation, zinc plus silver nitrate gives zinc nitrate plus silver. C. Aluminium plus copper chloride gives aluminium chloride plus copper. D. Barium chloride plus potassium sulfate gives barium sulfate plus potassium chloride. First, we can go for calcium hydroxide. What is the formula for calcium hydroxide? If you don't know to write the chemical formula, you can go to the website and you can select the topics from class 9. The name of chapter is atoms and molecule. The topic is valence and chemical formula. If you are selecting that topic, you will get the class of chemical formula. From that you can learn how to write chemical formula. Calcium hydroxide is CaOH twice and carbon dioxide is CO2 and calcium carbonate CaCO3 water H2O. We are writing CaOH twice plus CO2 gives calcium carbonate CaCO3 plus H2O. First we are making boxes in the reactant side and product side. How we can balance it? First, we are going to count number of hydrogen. Here, how many hydrogens are there? CaOH twice. There are two hydrogen. Here, how many hydrogens are there? H2O. H2O also two hydrogen. Means number of hydrogen is balanced. Now, we can go for number of oxygen. CaOH twice and CO2. There are four oxygen, right? In the product side, CaOH twice means two oxygen and CO2, two oxygen. There are four oxygen. In the case of product in the in the product side CaCO3 3 oxygen H2O 1 oxygen total 4 oxygen so it is a balanced equation number of carbon is also balanced CO2 1 carbon CaCO3 1 carbon it is a balanced equation so balanced equation is CaOH twice plus CO2 gives CaCO3 plus H2O zinc plus silver nitrate gives zinc nitrate plus silver zinc plus silver nitrate AgNO3 gives zinc gives zinc nitrate plus silver how we can balance this, balance this equation? Here you can see NO3 group. So we are counting the number of NO3 group in reactant side and product side. In the reactant side, how many NO3 group you can see here? It is AgNO3. AgNO3 means only one. Only one NO3. Here it is ZnNO3. ZnNO3 means there are two NO3. So here we are adding a two. Now, there are two Ag in the reactant side and one Ag in the product side, right? So we are adding a two here also. Now, number of Ag is balanced. Now we can count number of zinc. Here one zinc, Zn. Here it is ZnNO3 twice, one zinc. Number of oxygen is balanced. Number of nitrogen, here it is two AgNO3 means two AgNO3 means there are two nitrogen and it, here it is NO3 twice. NO3 twice means there are two nitrogen. NO3 twice, there are two nitrogen. Two NO3 means two nitrogen. It is a balanced equation. So balanced equation is zinc plus 2 Ag NO3 gives sudden NO3 twice plus 2 Ag. Aluminium plus copper chloride gives aluminium chloride plus copper. Here you can see Al plus CuCl2 gives AlCl3 plus Cu. We need to balance this equation. For balancing, we are making boxes in the reactant side and product side. Here it is CuCl2. CuCl2 means 2 chlorine, it is AlCl3, 3 chlorine, odd number and even number, right? Here it is even number, here it is odd number. Here we are going to add a 2. 
now it is 2 AlCl3 mean there are 6 chlorine when we are adding 2 here number of aluminium has been changed here there is only 1 aluminium here you can see there are 2 aluminium so here we are going to add a 2 now we can count number of chlorine how many chlorines are here in the product side it is AlCl3 Al AlCl3 means AlCl3 means there are 6 chlorine AlCl3 2 into Cl3 there are 6 chlorine here also there should be 6 chlorine so we can add 3 here now it is 3 CuCl2 3 CuCl2 3 CuCl2 means there are 6 chlorine 3 into Cl2 6 chlorine here now we can count the number of copper in the reactant side there are 3 copper 3 CuCl2 means there are 3 copper here also there should be 3 copper then we can add a 3 here now it is a balanced equation. The balanced equation is 2 Al plus 3 Cu Cl2 gives 2 Al Cl3 plus 3 Cu. Next equation, barium chloride plus potassium sulfate gives barium sulfate plus potassium chloride. Here we are writing barium chloride BaCl2, potassium sulfate K2SO4 and barium sulfate BaSO4 plus potassium chloride KCl. Now we are going to balance it. First, we can count number of SO4, K2SO4, how many SO4 are there? Only one SO4, SO4 is a group, we are considering SO4 as a group, here only one SO4, so here also there is only one SO4, no need to ch change anything because number of SO4 is balanced. Chlorine, in the case of BaCl2, how many chlorine you can see, there are two chlorine, so here also there should be two chlorine, it is KCl only, there is only one chlorine, we can add a two here, now it is 2 KCl here it is K2SO4 there are 2 K means there are 2 potassium and potassium atom and here it is 2 KCl there are 2 potassium atom now so it is balanced the balanced equation is BaCl2 plus K2SO4 gives BaSO4 plus 2 KCl it is a balanced equation write the balanced chemical equation for the following and identify the type of reaction in each case it is very important question we need to write the balanced equation and we need to identify the type of reaction first one potassium bromide plus barium iodide gives potassium iodide plus barium bromide zinc carbonate gives zinc oxide plus carbon dioxide potassium bromide potassium bromide is kbr here we are writing kbr and barium iodide it is bai2 so kbr plus bai2 gives potassium iodide ki plus barium bromide babr2 so gives ki plus BABR2. How we can balance this equation? Here there is no hydrogen and there is no oxygen. We are going to count number of iodine. It is BAI2 means there are two iodine. It is Ki only one iodine. There should be a two, right? Because number of atom in the reactant side should be equal to number of atoms in the product side. So we are adding a two here. Now number of iodine, it is balanced. There will be a change in number of potassium now. Here it is two Ki means there are two potassium in the case of KBR here it is KBR only one potassium so we need to add a 2 here now it is now the number of potassium is balanced now we can go for number of bromine how many bromines you can see in the product side it is BABR2 2 bromine BR2 means 2 bromine in the reactant side 2 KBR 2 bromines so bromine number of bromines atom it is also balanced now it is a balanced equation 2 KBr plus BaI2 gives 2 Ki plus BaBr2. Now we need to identify the type of reaction. What is happening here? In the reactant side, KBr is combining with BaI2. After the reaction, we are getting Ki plus BaBr2. They are exchanging ions. First, bromine goes with potassium. After the reaction, bromine is with barium. First, iodine goes with barium. Here you can see BaI2. Iodine goes with barium. After the reaction, iodine, is, iodine has been combined with potassium. It is KBr, right? In KBr, the bromine was with potassium. And after the reaction, bromine is with barium. Here, iodine was with barium. After the reaction, iodine is with potassium. They are exchanging their ion. Exchanging their ion means it is double displacement reaction. So, answer is double displacement reaction. It is the balanced equation. Next one. Zinc carbonate gives zinc oxide plus carbon dioxide. Zinc carbonate is sudden CO3 and zinc oxide is ZNO plus CO2. We need to balance it first, right? First, we, are, we need to count number of oxygen and number of zinc, number of carbon, everything we need to count. First, we are counting number of oxygen. Here, how many oxygens you can see? It is 3 oxygen, zinc carbonate, ZNCO3, 3 
3 oxygen and the product side zinc oxide plus CO2 means O plus O2 3 oxygen it is balanced now we can go for number of carbon here it is zinc carbonate 7 CO3 C only one carbon here it is one carbon CO2 means only one carbon it is also balanced zinc carbonate here it is zinc carbonate number of zinc is 1 here it is ZNO number of zinc is 1 it is also a balanced equation and balanced equation is ZNCO3 gives ZNO plus CO2 now we can identify the type of reaction how many reactants are here there is only one reactant product is 2 one reactant is transforming one reactant is changing to two products a reactant a single reactant is converting into two or three products this reaction is yes it is decomposition reaction so this reaction is decomposition reaction subscribe our channel for getting instant notification of sample paper solution and support us for providing free online classes to everyone www.winpointonlineclasses.com